Okay, what I've done is I've mounted this gun in the vise and I've taken up the slack to the wall and it's unloaded all that crap. So, that's the number that will focus. There we go. I've got zero set at the wall of the trigger where it starts to pull. Get set. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to crank it. And basically pull the trigger. Alright, I'm at 80 thousandths. All right, I'm at 85 thousandths into the, which if anybody knows, that's, that's two millimeters, a little bit over. Let me show you, so, right there, minus 85 thousandths. All right. I'm just going to go on, all right, there's 90, there we go. 90,000 cent, I got it to click. Alright. Let me move it back off. We're going to do it one more time. Alright, let me run it back up. And I'll show you. Right there's the wall. Should be pretty close right there. Yeah, I'm within four. So anyway, we're going to crank it back. I'm going to crank it back to... Let's do 80. Alright, let's do five more. 85. Now we're back to 90, where it tripped log up. There it went. Okay, so we're two millimeters into the trigger pull. All right, so let me come back off that. Set it. All right, now this time, I'm gonna just go to where the gun fires. And we know it don't fire. I should be able to go minus 90 with no, no issue. Alright. Minus 90. The gun did not fire. I'm just going to keep cranking it one thousandth at a time. Let me get it on up there. There it went. Alright. Let's see what our number is. 109. Okay. Let's do that again. Crank it back off. Reset it. Get back into it. And I'm going to go ahead and crank it to minus 90. And you can see I've got a mic on the gun so we should be able to hear it click. There it went. 109 again. I think that's what the first one was, wasn't it? All right, let me do it again. Do it one more time. And get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the video up here. And we should be able to hear it when it clicks.
109 again. All right, just to refresh everybody's memory, let's recock it and we'll see where it fires. I'm going to go ahead and get it to minus 80 because I know we were somewhere in that ballpark. All right, so we're minus 80. I'm going to go to 85. We go to 90. There it went. I'll show you that it was 90. 90. So, 20 more thousandths or if you want to get technical, 19 more thousandths of pull and the gun would have went off. So we were two millimeters into the trigger stroke to wiggle that and make the gun go off. So you've got to pull the trigger. And you know this is as dead nut as you can get. This ain't somebody trying to measure across this big fat radius here and a radius on the trigger. This is a CNC machine that will split hairs. And I just showed you how close to the breaking point that trigger is when it fired. It was within 20 thousandths. So if you pull your trigger within 20 thousandths of the break, and you reach up there and wiggle the slide, your gun could go off. But you are two millimeters into the stroke of the trigger. You're over two millimeters into the stroke of that. You're 90 thousandths into the stroke of the trigger. So anyway, real quick, I'm gonna show you something else. This was another thing they were saying, okay, well, here's what happens. You know, they do the John Wick deal when they put it back together or whatever. Let me set this to one, maybe we can see it. Okay, so if you're gonna dismantle the gun, the way Sig says do it, pull it back and lock the slide, which is the way I do it because it's too hard otherwise. You move your lever, release the slide, slide it off. All right, and they talk about this sear sticking up and all this stuff, well I ain't gonna go over all that because you can see the same thing somewhere else. So we're gonna flip that up and back down and then that puts that sear up a little bit but here's what I want to show you before I put this thing back together that people have not this thing will not accept a magazine all right let me get my flashlight I'm gonna get see that lip I'm gonna try to put my finger right down in here on the lower lower corner of that magazine see that piece sticking over that magazine that will not let that magazine in and for somebody to say oh well what if your magazine's bent what if what if do you see how much that magazine would have to be bent for it not to catch that lip a lot the magazine wouldn't even work so anyway and the way it works once you Put your gun back together and you flip this lever up and then you push up right here when you lock that slide open reassembling that gun here's what happens that jumps out of the way now you can load the gun and that puts the sear into position like it should be so i'm gonna cock it back down now it's back in place I cannot put a magazine in. Alright, so now we're going to put the gun back together and we're going to do it the John Wick way, I guess, or the Glock way, whatever, Hollywood way. So you're going to pull it open. You're not going to do what Sig tells you to, which is lock this open, which to me, that's how I have to do it almost because my hands ain't the greatest anymore. Anyway, you lock that, so now you're together and you drop your slide. Oh, you're good. See, it fires. It fires. Oh, that's a that that fires. 
The only way you could fire, fire a round out of this gun is if you held it back John Wick style and dropped a round down the barrel. Because at this stage right here, it does not accept a magazine. You've got to push the slide back and lock it. That did it right there. I didn't latch it, but that's what put everything back into position. Now it will accept the magazine. The sear is all the way up where it belongs and everything is right. The gun cannot be loaded if you don't raise that up and lock that slide. That's just the bottom line. The gun cannot be loaded. Oh yeah, you can say, well what if? What if that, well, if that broke off? Then yeah, the gun is faulty then because it got broken. It needs to be fixed. And that's one thing that's up to the gun owner to know that stuff. And if somebody somehow John wicked it and never, never pushed that up, then their sear isn't up all the way in position. But I find it hard to believe that nobody, people would go forever without locking their gun in the open position. But anyway, that's how that operates. For, you know, anybody that's got a SIG or anybody that don't, that's, you know, a hater or whatever, that's how it operates. So anyway, if I post this video, then I'm going to leave comments on. Y'all can fight it out, but I'm not going to respond to any comments. Because I'm just throwing it out there, giving you actual data that's not somebody with a pair of calipers trying to measure across two big-ass radiuses or somebody with a tapered pin pulling it through or somebody putting a screw in the trigger. This is actual dimensions that you can go by. And that's that particular gun. I ain't saying all of them do that, but that particular gun right there, that's what it is. You, you've seen it. All right, well, thanks for watching. Y'all don't get to fighting too much in the comments.